good bosses welcome back to my channel it's your girl star alexis if you're new here welcome if you're a regular what it do so today we are back and i am giving you guys a list of everything that i think every small business needs to begin their business um before getting started or things that you should get along the way things that you should basically get or try to get while starting your business or right after starting your business if that makes sense so i do have a highlighted item on the list so i'm gonna go over the uh other things first we're gonna jump right into the video um make sure you guys check the description box for all links that you will possibly be looking for so i will try to uh have an amazon link for all the things that i mentioned so the first thing on the list is a website every small business needs a website now i only say this because me as a shopper not even as a business owner um i know when i go to certain people's instagrams or if i find them on social media and i go to their bio and it says dm to order i automatically say oh never mind don't even worry about it because it's just so much more hassle trying to go back and forth between dms to get an item versus going straight to their website um finding everything that you need and checking out and just getting your tracking number a couple days later so um a website will actually save you from losing customers because i see a lot of small businesses like i said doing dm for order or taking orders via cash app like it's just too much and with the website platform um it's also very easy to keep up with your orders and who all you need to ship things out to so um if you guys haven't seen my video on um the different website platforms it'll be somewhere in one of these corners make sure you click that um if you do not have a website and you want to know a little bit more about your options so secondly um number two i recommend business cards or thank you cards um or just combining them into one so for me personally branding is very important so for me this is my thank you card this is my business card um and you don't have to spend a lot out of pocket to get these two items um i have a video on how to create um your business card straight from home if you go get some photo paper from the dollar store so make sure you go check that out it'll be in the corner somewhere every video that i mentioned during this video will be in one of these corners with the little eye just click it and it'll take you straight to that video but branding is very very important if you don't have like fancy boxes or fancy packaging and your name everywhere that's fine but starting off you have to have to have to start off with at least a business card and a thank you card if you want to um because i've gotten packages even from like small business promo when i go to shop people out on my instagram or even on youtube people don't have business cards so it's hard for me to um connect with them on social media or to even shout them out correctly because on your business card or your thank you card you'll always have your business name the website your facebook your instagram your contact email and all that stuff um business cards seem a little outdated but they actually do get the job done especially if it's like something where um you're offering like on your thank you card a a code for people to use on their next purchase people actually save that stuff um so that is very 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 important so number three is packaging when i say packaging it's really up to you what kind of packaging you want i can tell you guys a free option and then i can tell you my favorite op option so my favorite option um i've mentioned this in previous videos before um i buy all of my boxes from uline.com um uline.com is like my favorite place they have all types of different sizes boxes mailers um tuck top boxes they have all types of different stuff um and they are my go-to place because you can order in bulk um, most of the boxes come in a count of 100 um but if you want free options you can always create a business account on uh, usps.com and when you create your account they allow you to order as many boxes as you want to um, as long as you're shipping and using the right label for those boxes so if your label says priority mail just make sure that the box that you're using is a priority box um, but um, if you're a person who looks more into like flat rates and stuff like that usps also has free flat rate boxes as well um, and i think they start I don't know what the starting price is, but I know I've used the flat rate flat rate boxes before. Um, and the one that I used was a medium size flat rate box and it was $15 to ship um, any package that's under 70 pounds. So if you um, have a business and you sell like bigger items, 
um that may be an option for you to look into but the post office is always my first recommendation for someone starting off because everything is free you just have to create your account so number four on this list is your dymo label maker so it's called a dymo letro tag this right here actually comes really in handy this you can use to label products you can use this to label drawers you can use it to label um literally anything um i actually use this to label my lashes and when i'm testing out products um i do create labels um with this and just put it on the product so i know what is what um this really comes in handy you can change the different fonts the text um you can put numbers letters all types of stuff this really comes in handy when you're trying to stay organized within your small business so number four for me is a printer. I have an inkjet printer. You guys always ask me what printer I use. Um, and I say a printer because um, my printer, your printer can be used for a lot of different things. I use my printer to actually print my labels for my products. I use my printer to print out invoices. I use my printer to print out packing slips for my custom orders and so much more. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that video on how to print your labels in bulk from home, check the corners. Um, but yeah, I print all of my product labels from the house. I don't have to go to um, Avery.com. I don't have to go to um, office max or anywhere i do everything straight from my house um and the printer comes in handy and along with my printer i do have the hp instant ink um with hp instant ink you can kind of choose what your subscription is going to be i have it on my credit card so it doesn't really bother me coming out every month but i have the 9.99 plan i believe um and they have a plan i think it starts at 2.99 or 3.99 and it's basically um and it connects to your printer so once you put in your ink cartilage it keeps up with your ink and it knows when you need another cartilage and they automatically charge a card and send it in the mail but they only charge it when your ink is running low or when you put in a new cartridge so um i have like i said the hp uh 5055 printer it's inkjet um and it works fine with my waterproof labels um my weatherproof labels all that stuff so make sure you guys get a printer the next item which is number six is a shipping bucket so when i say a shipping bucket this is what i mean this bucket here um this is the bucket that you basically put outside your house or your business when you're um when you have set your pickup and the postman is coming to pick up your packages um make sure you guys check out my previous video so you can learn all about how to create a pickup with the post office so that you don't have to actually go out of your way go in your car use your gas and go to the post office every day um so there's two options for these shipping buckets you can one have a free one or buy one so i personally i personally have my own shipping bucket and it's from uline as you guys can see right here um i think i got them in a pack of three i got three i picked green because that's my brain color um they have different colors you can just get white if you want to um but i use these also to store some products when i have like an overflow of products as well as like i said putting it outside for the postman um but for the free option which is the one that actually says united states postal service um all you have to do is one day catch your mailman literally if he's outside go out there while he's at your mailbox and ask him does he have an extra bucket um you started a business and you need a bucket for when you create um your pickup and they literally will give you a bucket sometimes my postman when i don't even have pickups for the day he'll bring an extra bucket and just put it outside my front door so like um right now i personally have about four of the um usps postal service um buckets around the house for when i do create pickups because some days um my pickups are a little bit heavier i have more packages or i had a sale or something like that just whatever it may be um but my postman looks out for me and they if they know you have a business they normally will help you out because like sometimes when he doesn't have extra ones and he'll see me outside he'll be like hey i don't have an extra one today but i'm gonna bring you one tomorrow so um definitely get you guys some shipping boxes so that you don't have to just put your packages outside the door um you want to make sure that they're all together so that the postman gets all of them um so number seven 
Number seven is poster boards. When I say poster boards, I literally mean poster boards. So these poster boards, I got them from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Um, I actually have a project that I wanna try out for possible backgrounds for my pictures. But starting off um, so that you don't spend a lot of money, these poster boards are literally a dollar. You can get any color. Um, and I use these poster boards to um, take my pictures for my website and for my Instagram. So it's for my content and just my overall website look um, for more cleaner and more cleaner cut pictures literally all you need is a solid background um this will probably be the cheapest option for you presentation goes a long way um if your pictures for your brand are taken let's say outside um if your pictures for your brand are taken simply in the house on a rug versus on a plain clean white crispy background that look like you got them taken in the studio. The one with the cleaner cut background will probably appeal more to people's eyes. It looks better um, and it just makes it seem like you put in an effort for your brand. Um, so poster boards are definitely a must have. Okay, so number nine, I think we're on number nine. My numbers may be mixed up, but number nine. Um, number nine is really any electronic device so whether that be your phone, iPad, a computer, a desktop computer, whatever you have is what you should use. And I say this because um, and you don't have to have a device strictly for that reason. Like you can use your cell phone, but I'm just saying you do need some type of device for um, your business or that you a, a device that you can use partly for your business. And I say this because you need to um, print out things, you need to um, create things, say on Canva, you need to manage your website. And it's really hard to um, have a website and not have an electronic device. That seems like a given, but sometimes people have no idea. So if you have a cell phone, you're good. You're starting off great. Number 10 is storage. So when I say storage, I mean, any type of storage uh, container bin. I have a link to two storage bins, the one that I, the new one that I have, and then I have the one that I had before with the little doors on there. If you guys have seen my previous video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, storage is very, very important. If you don't have storage, it's gonna be hard to manage, especially if you sell more than just one product. If you sell more than one product and everything is kind of like joined all together, it's hard to do inventory. It's hard to keep up with how much you have left. Um, and it just gets really cluttered very easily. So storage, storage, storage is very important. Like I said, check the description box. Um, I will link something for all of these items that I'm mentioning in the video in the description box. And then number 10 that I have on this list, starting out, you wanna have a PayPal account, a business PayPal account. And I say this because even if you can't get a website or you don't wanna do the monthly fee, you can always do PayPal. So with PayPal, when you have a business account with PayPal, they offer to send you a card reader. So if you're a person who has local customers or you're doing pop-up shops or um, you're actually in a building selling things and you don't want to create a website, or if you have a website, um, if you have a website, um, your customers can check out using PayPal and the money will go straight to your PayPal business account. Um, if you do not have a website, like I said, PayPal will send you a card reader. You can swipe their card or use the chip, or you can just send invoices via PayPal. And in the invoice, you can list everything that the person purchased. Um, how much it costs, how many, and all of that stuff. Um, and you also have the option to get a PayPal card. So that can be like your kind of like business account until you actually get a business account. And when all else fails, it's very easy to give someone your PayPal me link also. So with PayPal, you can create a PayPal me link and um, you, you send people that link and they literally put the amount that they owe you and it charges their card immediately and it goes straight to your PayPal account and then you can use that card. Um, and when you build a history with PayPal and they see that you're bringing money in, they start offering you new things, you start getting cash back and so much more. They have like 
little loans and stuff that PayPal offers for businesses and so much more. I've had PayPal for a very long time and I've never had any problems with it. I love PayPal so much. Um, and like I said, if all else fails, I always use PayPal. The last two items that I want to tell you guys about are from a company. I think it's Moonbin. I may be saying it wrong, but I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can kind of read it for yourselves but the next item number 11 is a um is a shipping scale this shipping scale is from like i said munbin and it is a postal scale this is a very important item when starting a business so i've actually had a run-in with the post office before so they know who i am now um but if you do not weigh if you do not weigh your products before your products your boxes whatever it is that you're sending if you're not weighing these they will send your package back and your customers will never get them they will send them back to you so whatever return address that you have listed and they will tell you that you either owe postage or they're not sending it and you need to repackage it in a correct box and you need to weigh it and come up to the post office and have them ship it out for you um so that you don't have any problems with the postal with the post office you want to make sure that you get a postal scale so that um you have the correct weight down um you have to remember when you are shipping products through the post office or really anywhere they usually go off of weight so if the weight is off if you're lying if you're saying that the package is only 0.5 ounces and it's really two pounds they can tell when they pick it up that it's not 0.5 ounces so um instead of having to get into it with the people at the post office just make sure that you get you a postal scale so that everything is correct everything is good and that your your customers get their packages on time so i'm going to open up our postal scale and i'm just gonna show you guys what all comes in the box with the postal scale from moon bin so um the first thing that's actually in here is a um, little measuring tape and this measuring tape is also um kind of essential if you do not know what size boxes you bought um most of the time when you buy boxes they kind of tell you what size the box is but if not this is going to be essential it's going to be easy for you to measure your boxes so that you can put the correct dimensions in as well so next we have the cord that's going to connect and the three batteries and this is just a look at what the scale looks like i'm going to plug it up um so that you guys can kind of get like the full the full um the full view just wanted to show you guys the scale is up we're at zero and for i'm gonna place this package on here okay so you guys can see this package is 4.4 ounces um you guys know once you enter in the packages weight and stuff like that that's how the shipping rate is calculated so like i said just make sure that you guys get you a shipping scale i will link the shipping scale um down in the description box um it's very very essential these are like two and very very important parts when it comes to actually shipping or preparing to ship a package to your customer the dimensions and the weight um they're very serious about it especially because shipping rates are kind of changing now so you want to make sure that you're doing everything correct so that you have no issues last but not least a product that once i got it i was like a big sigh of relief i was like oh my god everybody needs this and i'm pretty sure other small business owners can relate um it is a shipping label maker so um a shipping label maker is very very essential for small businesses i know it's possible for us to get the sticky paper print it in a regular printer or just print it on regular paper and tape it on the box but as you i think that method is great if you want to stay a small business but the goal overall is to become bosses that's that's the whole point of this channel that's the whole point of us all being here we want to be bosses we don't want to stay a small business we want to evolve we want to get bigger and when you want to get bigger you can't think small if that makes sense so um yeah it's an investment but label makers shipping label makers save you so much time so much more time 
um, instead of like having to print them out, like I said, on a regular piece of paper, taping them onto the boxes and all that stuff versus having having your label right here. You just peel it off, put it on the package, go to the next one. You're shipping out plenty of orders at once and it doesn't take like super long to just get one order prepared to go out for shipping. So um, I have the Mune Bin Thermal Label Printer. Um, if you do get a label printer, I definitely recommend a thermal label printer because um, the ones that are not thermal, you have to get ink and all that stuff. When they're thermal, all you have to do is get the labels. Um, so um, I, this will be also linked in the description, the description box. Um, most label printers, like good label printers, range from like 100 plus. Um, but like I said, it's a one-time investment. After that, all you have to do is buy the shipping labels. And honestly, um, this thermal label printer is, it's right now, um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get it for $143 instead of $189. So $143.99 divided by 30 is four dollars and seventy cents a day. If you if you save four dollars and seventy cents a day. You can get you a label printer and never have to buy anything except for the label refills. Um, keep that in mind when uh, going through this list or getting anything for your business. Actually, try to um, divide it into the amount of time that you want to save for it, um, if that makes sense. So if you want a label printer in 30 days, take that price divided by 30 and save that amount each day for a month. You don't want to kind of you don't want to tackle it straight head on. I mean, if, if you have it, you can definitely do it. But some people don't have it. So make the amount smaller, build up so you can get it. So I'm going to unbox this for you guys. I'm really excited. And um, shout out to my YouTube members. If you are not a member, it's not too late to join. Um, this label printer will actually be given away to one of my members because I have my own. I think this will be the second giveaway on my channel. But I said, why not give it to the people who I know are really, really working hard for their business. So this will be a, let's say a late Christmas gift to one of my YouTube members. So join if you're not a member already and maybe you'll have a chance to win this label maker so with this label maker it's actually compatible with any website platform paypal shopify ebay usps all those websites this label printer is compatible with all of them so this is a look at the label printer it kind of looks like the one that i have myself um have the open button at the top um and like i said it's a thermal label printer so of course you it comes with the device it comes with the directions as well as a uh card reader um we have the cord it came with um some shipping labels and i will also link um the additional shipping labels in the description box also i have um coupon codes for all of the mune bin items that i showed you guys today along with the labels i have a coupon code for all of these so um make sure you guys use that coupon code at checkout so it's an easy setup you literally just connect it here plug it up and then plug the other end into the printer okay so now that it is plugged in i'm just going to stick this small cord into the back and then this second cord goes into the back of your computer and then into the back of the printer this is what the back of the printer should look like once everything is plugged in then you have the on switch the off switch the printer comes with directions but i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to walk you out through it like i said it comes with a chip reader with a flash drive you're going to stick the flash drive into your computer you're going to plug everything up um once you open your computer you're just going to go this there's different settings for the mac and the windows computers um they're pretty self-explanatory you just open the printer settings um select the software and make sure you set the paper size um for the labels in 
I think it's every thermal printer. The label size is four by six. If you do not enter four by six, you'll have issues when it comes to printing the labels. These label printers print uh, super, super fast. Um, and like I said, it just, it makes your job as a small business owner way, way easier. So I definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Um, before this video ends, I haven't done it in a while because I haven't checked my P.O. box, but I have some small business promo that I want to tell you guys about before we go. So first I'm going to go over um, a couple, I'm just going to name a couple businesses to make sure that you guys check out. I do not have items from these businesses um, due to losing content a while back, but um, the first business is Ellipse Alushes. Um, I'm pretty sure the name speaks for itself. It's pretty much everything to do with lips, lips, lip gloss, lipstick, lip scrub, everything, all types of lip care um, you guys can get from Lips Alushes and that's at Lips Alushes on Instagram. Next we have um, Paris Organics. Um, and that's uh, Paris Organics on Instagram and ParisOrganics.com um, is their website. Paris Organics is a all natural brand. Um, you can get all types of just self care items from there. They have shower melts, lip balm, and so much more. So make sure you guys go check out Paris Organics. Um, next we have um, Lumar Beauty. Um, and that is lumarbeauty.com. Lumar Beauty actually sent me some CBD products. This is a CBD brand. So um, their signature products are their CBD bath balm, CBD bath salts, CBD muscle cream, and CBD beard oil. Um, once again, that is lumarbeauty.com. The last uh, shout out really quick before I start showing you guys some items out of these boxes um is pamper crate for this brand they do not have a website yet so to purchase um you can contact charlotte at her email or phone number i'm gonna put that down in the description box and probably in the comment section as well um but pamper crate is basically a monthly subscription that costs for 34.99 where you're getting a box full of a bunch of self-care items i really enjoyed my box but like i said i lost the content on actually unboxing it so i do not have anything to show for it but i'm sure y'all trust my words so make sure you guys let's hit up charlotte to get your pamper crates the next business is keen sense and that's keensense.com and it's the keen sense on instagram and facebook and twitter um so this is actually a candle brand um and i received two candles from this brand and i'm really excited to use these y'all actually put me on the candles and now i just i can't stop getting them so these smell really really good um so i have um pleasurable burn and then i have dancing home dancing home smells more like a christmasy scent and then pleasurable burn is just like i don't know it just smells so good it makes me just want to go to bed or something um so like i said this is from keen keen scents and that's the keen scents on instagram so next we have natural sensations and it's at natural underscore sensations on instagram um this is a just a self-care brand so i have two items from natural sensation um i have a whipped body butter and this body butter is 6.5 ounces and it is freaking huge um so definitely go shop and then secondly i got this natural cocoa soy candle um i'm not sure if y'all can see the reflective container but the candle smells great but it's really the packaging for me honestly um so if you guys like pretty smell pretty and smelling good candles make sure you guys go check out natural sensations and the last small business promo for the day is jay's bangle shack on instagram and then jay's bangle shack on facebook and also tiktok so from jay's bangle shack i actually got two really cute bangles um i have lv's on there lipstick a bow a cute little tassel and these are just some like really cute statement bangles to add to 
your bangle collection okay period this is jay's bangle shack and jay's bangle shack concludes the small business promo for today like i said if you want to check out these brands i will link all of their in information down in the description box go support them because you will want them to come support you so make sure you guys like i said don't scare yourself with the prices like i said the aim is to become bigger to evolve as bigger businesses we don't want to just stay small businesses forever so think big when it comes to business don't play yourself period okay um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know what you guys want to see from me next and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.